In 1913, Ludwig Schunk and Carl Eber established the Schunk and Eber Company. With machines they manufacture themselves, the young company produces carbon brushes for dynamos and motors. Things were not easy in the beginning. Shortly after the company is founded, Carl Eba dies. And in the following year, the First World War begins. As Albert Einstein revolutionizes the world of physics, Schunk grows steadily and moves to Heuchelheim in 1918. AEG and Siemens become Schunk and Eba's first large customers. In 1925, the company's own electrographite production begins. At that time, no one would have thought it possible that the small company would someday develop into a global group. While the world experiences turbulent times, Schunk continues to work on precision and innovation. The company already takes its social responsibility very seriously. Schunk and Eba provides financial assistance for its employees in times of need, in case of occupational disability and upon retirement. The production equipment survived the Second World War unscathed. The death of the company founder is a heavy blow. However, the company continued to be managed according to his wishes with the Ludwig Schunk Foundation as its sole shareholder. The company founder's requirements, sustainable success and long-term strategies for maintaining independence, also on behalf of the employees, are still in force today. Schunk and Eba also profits from the economic miracle. Bern. Die deutsche Nationalmannschaft ist zum ersten Mal Fußball-Weltmeister. Wolfsburg. Der VW-Käfer wird mit imprägnierten Kohlekupplungsdichtungsringen ausgestattet, die die Schunk und Ebe GmbH entwickelt hat. Die Deutsche Bahn setzt auf Traktionskohlebürsten der Schunk und Ebe GmbH aus Heuchelheim. Mexiko. Schunk. Technik made in Germany gibt es jetzt auch in Übersee. Heute wurde die Schunk Elektrocarbon nahe Mexico City eingeweiht. Deutschland Heuchelheim. Der Schunk und Ebe GmbH gelegt die Herstellung von sehr reiner Graphiten durch Beschichtung mit Pyrokohlenstoff und Hochtemperaturreinigung. The company undergoes rapid development. From 1952 to 1958, the number of employees increases from about 700 to more than 1,200. Between 1955 and 1959, seven foreign companies were established, including the first overseas company. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin of the Soviet Union succeeds in the first manned space flight and Schunk continues to fly high as well. Schunk and Ebel schaffen eine gänzlich neue Form von Kohlegraphitwerkstoffen. Diese sogenannten L-Kohlen können in nahezu allen Haushaltsgeräten eingesetzt werden. Damit steigen die Heuchelheime jetzt auch in die Massenproduktion ein. Neil Armstrong, US-Astronaut der Apollo 11 Mission, betrat gestern als erster Mensch den Mond. Die Schunk und Ebe GmbH hat ein Patent für eine zylindrische Sintermetall-Gleitlagerbuchs angemeldet. Schunk und Ebe entwickelt den Siliziumkarbid-Werkstoff SIC30. Schunk und Ebe setzt mit der Herstellung von hochreinen Graphitteilen auf die Technik der Halbleiter. Eine Investition in die Zukunft für die Sprecherin Palo Alto, Kalifornien. Steve Jobs und Steve Wozniak haben heute in einer Garage Apple Corp. Apple entwickelt neuartige Personal Computer. Today, four business divisions ensure global success. Schunk Materials manufactures components and systems out of graphite and ceramics, such as carbon brushes for reliable electric current transmission. The division also manufactures components used in wind generators and in the production of solar modules and LEDs. Schunk Center Metals is home to experts in the area of powder metallurgical manufactured components, including many for the automotive industry, such as components for turbochargers, valve control, steering, brake systems, and window lifters. The Vice Group develops environment simulation systems in which the functionality, stability and quality of products are tested. In addition, the spectrum of products includes air conditioning systems for computing centers and operation rooms, as well as air conditioning and clean room solutions for sensitive production areas. 
Shunk Sono Systems is the leading global manufacturer of ultrasonic welding systems, used for example for welding wiring harnesses in the automotive industry. The company also provides system solutions for the electrical and electronics industries, the cooling device, photovoltaic and solar thermal industries. Shunk develops into an internationally operating technology company. Shunk is present all over the world with more than 60 companies in 28 countries. A century of progress has made the company into a global player that is an international technology and market leader in many business areas. Over the past 100 years, through future-oriented innovations, Shunk products and expertise have come to play an important, though often invisible, role in our everyday lives. No matter whether they are found in cars, trains, electric or household appliances, wind power stations, hospitals or in the food industry, technologies and products from the Shunk Group make critical contributions to making everyday life easier while providing functionality, safety, and comfort. The Small General Partnership for Manufacturing Carbon Brushes has become a healthy, successful company that is also an attractive employer throughout the world.